Swamp, but don't be surprised if it bites you through the coffee table if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, some Bobby June's deep bayou breaded scallopini with lemon butter sauce and ranch dressing. That's right, available in the frozen food aisle of your favorite grocery store. Okay, let's get that gator out. Oh, oh. oh you silly girl, it's dead. <laughs> Old Pete killed it this morning, had it flown in special. Now, you've had a tough few months, didn't you? Overdosed or something? Well, that was an accidental overdose. I accidentally drank an entire bottle of vodka and then ate a fistful of pills while sobbing. It was a total accident. It has nothing to do with my career meltdown or my recent breakup or how I've changed my accent. And the paparazzi just keep hounding me. Oh, they are something, aren't they? Just wanting to ruin everyone's lives. They put a video of me online saying I was talking hateful. I was talking about gophers and rabbits and things that dig holes in my garden. I hate them varmints. I hate them. That liberal media had a field day. Well, I ones that win awards for journalistic investigating. Trash, I call it. I never read the tablets. Now, Samantha, I'm going to see you on every day you come on the checkout aisle. The one the other day said you had had sex with an alien. Is that true, girl? Was you lonely? Um, no. That's what I thought. I thought and I said, that can't be true. We have to keep things pure. You know, don't go around mixing things that shouldn't be mixed. So tell me about your kids. How many you adopted? Thirteen. And I love every one of them. They each have their own room and their own name. You know, Bobby June, children are tiny little liberals. You have to teach them to stop throwing tantrums and asking for handouts. Ain't that the truth? Listen, with my kids, I had to teach each of them to beat up their friends and take what they need. Otherwise, they ain't gonna make it in this world. And that is being a parent. Mm-hmm. All right, let's put some oil in the pot here. How about it? We'll get two gallons of pig fat and a bit of beef dripping. I think about it all the time. You know how bad things are. I just want things to go back the way they were. Life was better when I was growing up. Sock hops, drive-ins, drink driving. You know, certain words were okay to say. None of this political correctness. I mean, that's a misnamer if I've ever heard one. <laughs> really. Now, you used to be a Vinewood liberal, didn't you? Oh, yes, Bobby June. And I woke up and saw the air of my ways. It's sad that people are so shallow and petty now, won't even stick by their convictions. Sometimes when I get down, I think about how happy I am with Long Bank. I earn frequent flyer miles on every purchase. Oh, I saw you bleed about that. Now, that's very exciting to see you talk about something you care about so much, like consumer banking. Yes, and for the record, I would be talking about it even if they weren't paying me. Let me just add a few sticks of butter here to the sauce, a drop of duck fat. Beautiful, that looks great. It's hard out there, I know. Having a radio show and writing books, blogs, appearing on billboards. I work 18 hours a day. I never took a handout. Fact is, we're fighting the good fight against evil, and liberals are traitors. The founding father set a course for this country, and that is to make sure that the rich don't have to pay taxes and women and minorities can't vote. Money and freedom will trickle down. And it's a proven fact that it's the best system of democracy. Journalists are terrorists. They're biased. I'm not biased. It's in my book. You can keep the services. I'll keep my money. Social Security? The fact is, poor people live too damn long, while the rich die young, having been worked to death paying for all these taxes. I've read the reports. They've tried to hide it. I'm a strict constitutionalist myself. My grandma told me that when we were under the gold standard, you could buy a hamburger for a nickel. A 
a nickel. Everything was clean. It just sounds better. Well, I can tell you one thing from where I am right here in Bobby June's kitchen. This is how I see it. There's only one foreign policy that's 100% effective, and that's carpet bombing. While this gator cooks, do you want to sing a song for us? I know you're known mostly for pop songs. Yes, but I did some soul searching with my manager, accountant, and dialect coach, and they said that pop country would open a whole new world for me. So I've changed directions and politics a bit in order to explore this new demographic that doesn't save money and buys all kinds of superfluous stuff and doesn't have a clue what downloading is. This is a song from my new album. It's called I Like Things Just the Way They Are. Wasn't that beautiful, Ricky? Great. Thank you, Bobby Jean. Thank you kindly. Wasn't that great, girls? Wow, what an end to this show. Here, honey, have a bite of gator. That's ranch dip and that's blue cheese. I know they look similar. Hey, Ricky, get your fat ass out of here, honey. Where's the barbecue sauce? Samantha, I loved it. I just loved it. That's about all the time we've got for today, folks. I love all y'all. Bless your heart and bless your heart, Samantha. Bless your heart, man, Bobby Jean. Oh, so fun. Tired of fad diets? First it was vegetarianism, then veganism, then came the Vice City diet of no carbs, just grapefruit, rum, domestic violence, and cocaine. 
Finally, there's a diet that makes sense. Extreme Paleo TM. Diets come and go, but the Extreme Paleo TM diet has stood the test of time. When you live the Extreme Paleo TM lifestyle, you'll take dietary clues from our enlightened ancestors who shunned grains, beans, and dairy, and instead dined on meat, berries, mammals, and each other. You'll be far happier too, because your body will finally be at one with the world. Tune to perfection as you figure out what's for lunch and who might have you on the menu. Extreme Paleo TM. Trademark because it works. Talk radio for the rest of us. People that earn an honest living. Instead of taxing people to death from their ivory towers. 96.5 FM. Blaine County Radio. Beyond Insemination, the show hosted by two-time Southwestern Tractor Pulling finalist, amateur rodeo star, and animal husbandry innovator and expert, Dwayne Earl. All right, all right. We're back with another episode of Beyond Insemination. Welcome one, welcome all. You're listening to the show about BBQ, bridges, mud bogging, and bitches. Your weekly journey into semen, sawdust, and savoring the good things in life. Life, death, and reproductive services down on the farm. Okay, okay. Let's get some music playing here. Jesus, assault rock. I need some assault rock. Hell yes. You know, sometimes I just want a woman to hit me. Treat me like the man I am, a piece of angry garbage. And then when we're done fighting, I will hop on a motorcycle and I will pop a wheelie right there in the driveway. Just burn out, skid all over the goddamn place. Hell yes! And she'll stand She'll forgive me. We'll have another baby. She'll make the breakfast. That's the stuff that makes us great. Grease, girls, and grits. All right, the phones are already lit up here. You people just can't wait season fruity hats and tight shorts i don't want to see your johnson we ain't friends and they ride bicycles with tap shoes on fucking tap shoes just in case they need to jump off and sing a show tune what in the hell is that all about well i ain't whistling dixie i can tell you that because nobody likes a whistler creepy bastards whistlers <laughs> next caller inseminate me no 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 that's wrong speaketh to me uh, uh, hey there Dwayne. my name's mike a big fan Big fan. <laughs> I do not care about no names, boy. You state your business and I will do the pontificating. But anyway, my kid is real good at sports, like football and that. I think he's going to get a scholarship. He hits real good, a real good, like, like one of them crackheads you read about them picking up north. But my wife won't let him play because his grades are low on account of him getting his girlfriend pregnant. Uh, uh, him, I mean, uh, not my wife. My, my wife can't get pregnant no more. Uh, uterus is ravaged like the projects. Anyway, I need that boy to make a lot of money by going pro so that I can get a new bass boat. What am I going to do, Dwayne? I, I can't stop crying. Brother, I share your pain. Let it go. Let those tears go. Let it all flow out your eyeballs, down to your cheeks. I love you, my brother. I love you. You're better than this. You are better than this, sir. Reach deep inside of yourself and just inch it off. Don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. And that's enough. My friend, your woman has already gone feral. I was a fifth grade soccer coach once. Do not ask. It was a bad time of my life. I know. I know. And you're right. It's not even a real goddamn sport. No one ever got that brain damage, but I did my best. Yes, I did. It was hard, but we made some progress. I taught those kids to be number one, what it takes to get to the top, what steroids to take. Gave them the same as I give my beef herd. Had to gamble on sports, how to snap another kid's Achilles tendon behind the referee's back so he never walks right again. Stuff winners gotta do to get the job done. How to cover up the smell of marijuana by blowing through a toilet paper roll with dry sheets stuffed inside. How to leave a woman. I taught each of those boys the facts of life and how it is never about the woman's pleasure. Never about that woman's pleasure. Parents won't tell you the truth, but a man with a beer in his hand will. And the fact is, you do whatever it takes to win. If that wife of yours don't want to understand, don't want to let the boy play some goddamn football, then she's got to go, Mike. Mike, are you with me? You there, son? I, I, I'm here, Dwayne. Hear the word. She's got to go, Mike. <laughs> I, I know, Dwayne. I'll speak to a lawyer. <laughs> lawyer? <laughs> Fancy talk. I recommend drowning, Mike. Real men don't use lawyers. Show your boy what it means to be a man. Press her under the surface of the fluids. Mike, please. 
Uh, oh, okay. Love the show, thanks. Thank you. Hey, Susan. I'm calling from Sandy Shores. I really like what you said about how animals have babies and then they abandon them and then they go find another mate. Oh, that just touched me. That made me cry. It reminded me when I left little Mary Sue outside the Up and Adam restaurant. I was tired of all her crying and carrying on anyway. Because I just hooked up with a guy.